Hello, lovelies! This is Megan from Little Hot Tamale, and I am here with a pen pal letter tutorial using file folders. So go get your file folders and let's get started. Alright, so first things first, we are going to open our file folder and fold the bottom half all the way to the center line. And then we are going to flip it over and then fold it again. And then flip it one more time. And then fold right where the fold met on the other side. All right, so it kind of looks like an accordion when you fold it, see? Doop, doop, and doop. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna open it again and we're going to measure at six inches. Now you can make it at five inches or seven inches, but I just chose six because I thought that was a good size. So you're just gonna make a line down the middle. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is cut that middle section out. So you're going to have kind of like a book cover when you cut it out. Now, do not throw this piece of paper away. We are going to use this later on because we do not want to waste any of our file folder. So just set it aside. Now we're going to fold those flaps in and like so and then just kind of crease it with a pencil or a pen. Alright, so depending on what kind of file folder you used, mine is a manila one and it's kind of plain. I kind of want to decorate it a little bit. So I'm going to use paper. Now if you use a fun colorful one, you can just skip this step all together. So the paper I'm using is by Heidi Swap, and it comes in a huge package at Hobby Lobby for, I think it's 20, but I used a coupon, so I made it about $10, I think. Yes, $10, because it was actually half off. <laughs> All right, so you're going to measure each section. Now, for each section, you can actually flip the design over and then measure it, so you don't have to painstakingly measure each section. <laughs> All right, so there that one is. Now here's a fun tip. If you have a huge design like this heart one, you can always just use parts of it like I did. And then for the scraps, I'm going to cut out all the different words and use them as embellishments. Two for one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gluing these on with tacky glue. Of course, you can use a glue stick or whatever you have. Um, I kind of had a difficulty um, using my glue stick. For some reason, it was not sticking. So maybe you'll have better luck than me. Alright, I just pointed out that you should not cover the fold with paper because it makes it difficult to fold your album. It kind of closes wrong, just to let you know. Alright, so once you get all of your pages on, we are going to make our pocket. So I'm just showing you where how it folds again, and then on the back where that center fold is, I left it blank because that is where our pocket's going to be. So I'll just glue the side and the bottom and then fold them together and then make sure it dries before you go to the next step because you want it to have a nice grip. All right, now this is optional. I decided to edge my album in black ink. So I'm just using um, like a little dabber. It has like a little sponge on the end. Now, like I said, it's totally optional. Now, for example, if you didn't fold your book correctly, you can always put a piece of washi on the bottom and it looks like you didn't fold it wrong. <laughs> or you can just put it on there because it looks cool. <laughs> now I'm just adding some washi here and there. Now I like to use the film strip because I like to talk about movies or series that I'm currently watching. And I also like to use doilies on my pen pal letters because 
they're super cute, delicate, and they're actually really reasonable at the store. Now if you're just wondering, those stickers are actually by Amy Tangerine, and they come in a huge pack, and I absolutely adore them. Alright, so this is the paper I used earlier. I'm just going to cut out the words, like I said, and use them as embellishments. And this is an awesome tip. Let's just say you messed up like I did. I got ink all over the front of the cover. I don't know how I did it, but I did. <laughs> and I'm just going to cover it with either washi or embellishments or stickers, and then you'll never, ever see it. And it looks like you intentionally did that, and no one will be the wiser. <laughs> Unless you watch this and then you're like, yeah, she totally messed up. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so that's my cover. And it matches the inside as well. Now this is just a little envelope I made. And I have a free printable for the cat Polaroids. And I will have that link in the down bar for you guys. Now I'm just continuing with the theme of washi, doilies, and stickers. Now in this area I put a huge section of stickers and doilies because I accidentally have a wrinkle in my paper when I glued it out. So now you can't see it. <laughs> Alright, and then some more stickers and doilies. Right, for our last section, we are going to make our little book. So go grab the piece that you cut off earlier and just cut off about an inch. And then test it and make sure it fits in your pocket. And mine does. So this is optional. You don't have to put paper on the inside, but I am because I don't want the ugly writing to show. <laughs> glue it on my tacky glue and then cut around the sides like so and then I'm just going to fold it and make sure it has a nice crisp line or nice crisp edge no fold <laughs> and then I, I stapled um, a piece of ribbon on the side so I'll make it easier for your pin pal to get the little folder out and and it's cute. <laughs> Alright, so that is my file folder pen pal letter. And thank you for my wonderful Sebi for asking for that tutorial. Because I had a blast making it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Toodles!